Hey everybody, it's Vault Fox. Welcome back to my channel. I really don't feel like setting up my YouTube stuff. I don't feel like putting up lights. I don't feel like putting the stupid curtain on my window. So I'm just gonna do this vlog style and hopefully that's okay with you. And also I had some pre-workout today and I think that I didn't exactly work off all of the pre-workout. So if I'm a little bit goofy, I apologize. But anyways, that's not why you clicked on the video. Clicked on the video because I am going to be showing you how I made this Bo-Katan helmet. Not how I made it actually. I'm going to be showing you how I weathered that Bo-Katan helmet right back there. And it's using a method that I have been dying to use. It's a method using oil paint and naphtha and it's a really simple technique and I'm surprised that I had never tried it out before but I really like the results and I'll probably overlay a little bit of you know some b-roll for you guys to see how cool it looks but anyways it's really fun and really cool and how many times can I say that but yeah let's get on into the tutorial to start I've got these little mixing cups that I'm going to be mixing the paint and the naphtha in then you're going to want to grab some oil paints I'm using black and white to create like a grayish grimish kind of look to the helmet next up is your can of naphtha I got this from Home Depot you can get this from hardware store Stores. just don't get it from Amazon because it is like severely marked up on Amazon but if that's like your only option then go with it you're also gonna want some paper towels and you'll see in my footage I use these regular white kitchen towels like they were like bounty towels or something and they left a texture that I didn't really care for in the helmet so I switched to these blue shop towels that you get at the auto parts store honestly either will work out and the texture kind of looked cool like I'm sure some people would really like it I just didn't like it for my prop then you're gonna grab a crappy paintbrush and a chip brush and last you're just gonna want to make sure you have some gloves make sure you have something laid down on your workspace so that you don't get this mess everywhere or you at least try to contain the mess. <laughs> First thing you want to do is take your oil paints and just squeeze a little bit of that into your small mixing cup. Then you're just going to pour in a small amount of naphtha, like don't go crazy with this stuff and just begin to mix everything together with your paintbrush. Then just take that same paintbrush and pat it all over onto your prop, kind of like how I'm doing here. I was kind of concentrating on the corners and you know, places where grime would kind of seep into and making some haphazard patterns before I then go and grab my paper towel. And then I take that paper towel, soak it with some naphtha and then go back over and pat down where I just laid down that oil paint mixture. This is gonna lift up your oil mixture, but it's not gonna get all of it off of there. So it's going to leave a little bit of like muck down there. Then once I'm done patting that down and I like how it looks, I just kind of continue and go back in with the oil and naphtha mixture and then continue the pattern until I'm satisfied with what I'm looking at. I think I did like four or five layers but honestly it's this is something you have to do by feel and to do it on your own and you'll know when it's grimy enough or whenever it's like on the verge of being too much. <laughs> there was one spot that I was worried about on this helmet and that was all the white bits that were on the front and usually it's just whenever I have white paint and I'm putting some kind of a wash over it it just ends up looking gray but with this I was actually really happy with how it came out. Now once you're satisfied with your piece and how things are looking you can either stop here and leave things to dry like how they are or you can take it one more step which in my opinion is what makes this whole technique really shine and to do that you're just going to want to go grab your chip brush and your naphtha again and you're going to pour a little bit of the naphtha into a small cup and dip your brush into it and kind of flick it onto the piece like I'm doing here in this video footage and it really gives it this really cool water droplet water weathered effect and it genuinely just looks so cool to just look at and like this helmet has really seen some shit <laughs> and here's how the helmet looks after everything's been dry for an entire day and I really don't think I'm going to be going back to my standard black wash anytime soon after doing this method I'm really excited to try this out with different colors and just doing kind of different mixes and things like that but yeah that's all that there really is to that tutorial and now I'm on the floor I don't know why I'm on the floor I'm going to be so mad at myself when I'm editing this later. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for hanging with me for this pretty brief video of a little quickie tutorial. But let me know if you guys end up using this. It's really fun, honestly. You can get really carried away with this technique. I know I definitely almost did. And as always, if you have any other questions, just feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye! That looks really good. Yeah. You should be proud of that. Get you a man who hypes you up. Oh my god, I'm so cross. <laughs> so I'm on the floor, but whenever I finished weathering this helmet, I first send it off to my friend Del, who Del is the greatest hype man and or hype woman that ever lived because anytime I send her a cosplay stuff, she's always like, oh my god, that looks so cool. But anyways, I sent this picture to her and well, I thought I sent this picture to her, but I sent her a message on Telegram and it just said dirty girl and I forgot to send the picture. So she just responds like, what? But yeah, um, that's what it's like to be in a chat with me. I just say random shit and then I forget to provide any context to you for a little bit and then you're just left to wonder what the heck is going on in my brain and that's just like it's like the perfect I just forgot what I was saying <laughs>